In the Factor follow-up segment tonight, a viewer warning, we're going to show you a hateful picture posted on a far-left website, the Daily Coast, so you might want to change channels right now. As you may know, we've been reporting on most of the Democratic candidates attending the Coast Convention this weekend, despite the fact that website is full of hateful postings, including this picture of President Bush and Senator Joseph Lieberman, which has been on the site for a year. Now, yesterday I spoke with Senator Chris Dodd, who's running for president, and will be at that convention. You know, you've known uh, Senator Lieberman for 30 years. You know, President Bush. I'm sure you respect both men as patriots, um, and you see something like this. Why don't you distance yourself from it, sir? Well, uh, what I'm stunned at, Mr. O'Reilly, is the fact you spend as much time here uh, going after a online community gathering where there are 500,000. Uh, people who visit that site on a daily basis here to identify five, six, seven, eight objectionable, offensive cartoons or comments that people are making here. I find rather stunning, to be quite honest with you here. This is the worst place, stuff on the Internet. Internet. This is a place where people get... Than this. No, no, you're missing the point. I, you ought to be far more candid with your viewing audience here and tell them that your real objection here is the ideology of Daily no, Coast. No, not what's on the end. This, this is silly. This is silliness for you to be suggesting. I don't, look, that if, you the moderate, if you went to the 500,000 people appearing on that line. Let me finish here. 500,000 people every day on that line. You, Why are you attacking something like this because it's it vile. The debate allows people it's to... vile that's why well, well, so no matter how many people go in, there are a lot of things that you say are vile on a daily basis well, what, what about that cartoon senator what about no, I'm not, no 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 listen what no, do you mean no no no, no. it's up there for a year no, no. what about no, no. the cartoon Riley, sir mr o'reilly you're not listening to me your point here is you're not being candid your objection is to this community gathering here you don't like their politics i don't like that's their a legitimate website. criticism here why don't you focus on that and right. recognize that i'll ask you i'll ask you the question again you okay with that cartoon, sir? Of course not. That's not the issue, Mr. Of course Ryan. it's the issue. No, no, That's you're what going they do. After, no, no. That's no, what they do on the site. They no, do no, that hate stuff you all the time. You've suggested that we ought not to participate in the Correct. convention Distance because six or seven or eight or ten people here have said eight something on this people? site that's objectionable. There's no, no. thousands of vile postings on that website. Thousands. Well, Mr. O'Reilly, there are thousands on your posting as well. No, there are not. There aren't out. any on oh, my oh, posting. Oh, yes, there are. We You're take them off about, right away. Talking about Al-Qaeda attacking uh, San Francisco, when, blowing when did up I say San Francisco. That, that's not offensive. When did I say that? You said it in 2005. I when? Where? What forum? When? Right here, I believe, on your no, own show. No, you're wrong. I didn't say it here. Well, you don't know what the hell I said. No, With all due respect. Do. You no, got it from Media on Matters. The, focus you on your legitimate criticism. It, and you don't know what I did. Look, focus you're a on propagandist, your Senator. Criticism. You're a propagandist. I used no, to respect no, no, you. No, no, no. I don't have any respect for you. And no. if I were Joseph Lieberman, I would never talk to you again. Because well, this is vile, well, well, you're and you're legitimizing it. You're legitimizing it. And if you would sit there and just be honest about your criticism here, rather than focusing on a few specific instances that everyone I know would find objectionable. That's not the issue here. The issue is you're legitimizing Finish, can, I finish, can I please finish a thought with you here? That you object to the fact that 1,500 people are going to gather in Chicago representing hundreds of thousands of people who utilize this community gathering, this oh, internet yeah, site, that was a way to express their views every day, which is not a bad way to do this it's at hard all. To believe. The fact that there are objectionable people who show up here on this site doesn't discredit everyone else who participates in this in a wonderful way to share their views on a variety oh, okay. of subjects. So affecting why don't the they name it the little boy? Why are you continuing to do this? Look, you talk about being disingenuous. Your description of that site is so opposite from what it is and anybody who's been on it knows the hate that they peddle every day look senator i mr. appreciate Riley, you coming mr. on Riley. here i appreciate mr. it mr but you, you are so dead it. wrong on this well, let me and i'm going to give you the end. last word you because are so dead indiana, wrong on indiana this indiana university you want to apologize to lieber no no Go listen ahead. to me indiana university has suggested that once every 6.8 seconds yeah and it was you say something we discredited this study would you bogus you, go, you make derogatory comments about individuals and groups once every 6.8 seconds. That's nine times a minute. That's your history here. Go after the and ideology. you believe that? That's, let me you believe you, that? That's a, legitimate, that's a legitimate point for you to attack the ideology of Daily Coast. It's a bold Daily study. Coast. We've already but discredited don't, it. don't suggest here, don't suggest here that this is a real debate you're having about Daily Coast. You object to the ideology. Right. You're using a few instances here that a everyone few. would find objectionable as a way of suggesting we ought not right. to participate. That's terribly wrong in my view. Okay. I want everybody to go to that site and remember what Senator Dodd said and make up your own mind. And yeah, there you go, Senator. 500,000 visits a day. They'll make up their own mind. So what did you think of that interview?
Dennis Miller heard it, and he has some thoughts. You'll hear, man. You know, I, I, I'm always disappointed when uh, people come on with propaganda like Senator Dodd did. You know, he obviously didn't know what I said about al-Qaeda in San Francisco. He didn't know what program I said. I was fed to him. But he uh, and others, they're basically defiant, and they're going to do what they want to do. It did never address the picture and the morality of the picture. Just kind of sloughed it off like this is not what is prevailing on this website which is just absolutely untrue well let me tell you bill you're disappointed in him as a fan of the factor and when i'm not on i don't miss a night i'm a little disappointed that you would give a hack like that a toehold you know these people aren't going to come on and debate on fox which is the preeminent cable news organization in this country if i am to believe your ratings that i read on the internet probably eight times what the daily cause gets on any given sure. day for you to let him come in and sandbag you like that i must tell you as a viewer of the factor i don't need to hear from hacks no, like no, chris okay, Dodd, wait, okay? wait, wait. that's interesting and i know i'm going to get mail that says you are right on that but look he comes in, and I want people to see him, no matter what he said. You no, know, if he denied, denied, deny, which he did. You know, if you would think he was talking about the Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm website. You know, from the way, his description of it. it was totally inaccurate, totally not true, and people can see for themselves. But I have to present these guys to the American public as best I can. Now, certainly he was challenged every step of the way, but you would not have even used him. He not only has never watched The Factor, he's never read The Daily Kos. He's a guy who's looking up in the Iditarod of the Democratic primary process at Dennis Kucinich's behind in front of him. He could speak at his dining room table and only 50% of the family would show up. And I don't need him on here unless he wants to talk about something substantive, which he didn't. He just wanted to whip off his glove and smack you in the face, because at this Daily Coast thing next week, that's going to make him a big man. Okay, and I you agree know with something? you. something? I just don't need to see it. But don't you think most people see that? Don't you think that when he comes on and does that and got smacked right back, all right, and I don't like to do that to a sitting senator, I have to tell the audience, does get, not give me any pleasure, but I certainly have to do it. Um, don't you think the audience then does exactly what you do, sees through it, knows the game, and then basically says, this is what is going there? No, I don't think most of your audience does. I think you'd be better off having Kucinich on, because as much as I am not voting for Dennis Kucinich, I have to admire that he takes a stand yeah, and we, says his piece he's a, and at least has some is policy. Any time. But this is the first I know time this Dodd's guy ever had been nothing. on. Bill, this guy had nothing except standing up to you, who they assume to be the symbol of the right wing and all that, and he was boring. He was tedious. He doesn't know anything <laughs> about you. And it'll be interesting to see if people agree with you or not. I think it's worthy to put them on, and I think it's worthy when they spout stuff that isn't true to challenge them. And I, th I don't think it was a boring segment, Dennis. I, I, I got no, I don't think it was boring. It wasn't but boring. I, I think, <laughs> and I everybody's going to be talking asked. about it tomorrow. Um, but you may have a point. Putting on, and I didn't know he was going to be dishonest. I actually thought he would engage in the uh, in the picture because he knows Lieberman for 30 years. Yeah, he turned on Lieberman in the election, but you're right. He pandered, and so he could get an attaboy when he goes into this hateful thing over the yeah. weekend. Yeah, all right. He'll be a big guy. You know something? No, he won't. That convention is a loser fest. I mean, there are hookers who have put an embargo on that convention. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, Miller, I can, uh, you know, your radio show you do every day, three hours, right? Yeah. I think I can mm -hmm. get you Chris Dodd to come on. Would you, would you like to have him as a guest uh, sometime this week? Listen, if I want somebody <laughs> who drones on like that, I'll put up a test pattern, my friend. <laughs> so that's a no. <laughs> Don't want him. Not interested. <laughs> Tedious. You know, I'm going to really be interested to see the emails uh, that come in overnight on whether I should have booked them or not. I bet you, you know, a lot of right. it's, it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see him. We'll read them tomorrow. Dennis Miller, everybody, check him out on the radio. Stay away from him if you see him in person.